Hello, my name is Travis from Tabletop CP, and welcome to Paint All the Minis Con. So if you're here, uh, you obviously know what Paint All the Minis Con is all about, so I won't uh, go into any detail on it, but it is a pretty cool idea that Dan had and he's done a lot of work and uh, I just want to thank him for putting all this effort into this to uh, help us uh, get through this conless period that we're in right now thanks to the uh, COVID-19 virus. So uh, what we're going to do tonight, Andre and I are going to be playing a game of sharp practice. Background. Word has made it to both armies camps that a sizable horde of gold is stashed in a forest outside of Tom's Hill. Wanting to get there first, both commanders have dispatched skirmishers to hold the wood until the main force arrives. Mission. Both sides, need, both sides need to secure the gold. They can either try and carry it away or just drive the enemy from the field. It will take four men to carry one barrel of gold. So the gold is hidden in that little patch of wood there. Three barrels worth. So four guys to carry one barrel, or you can just camp on it and... Uh, try to drive the enemy off the field. Deployment. The British will place their deployment point within six inches of the northeast road. The Continentals will place their uh, primary deployment point within six inches of the east road. Any additional deployment points are placed as normal. To start the game, only skirmishers can deploy. The main force will arrive from the primary deployment point after a task roll of 14 is achieved. So this is to simulate the uh, advanced deployment of the skirmishers by both commanders and the task force roll of 14 is to, to simulate the uh, slower arrival of the main force as they have to get together and they all have to move and they're going to get here after. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how that works. Uh, one side might deploy a lot earlier than the other. Um, that's just going to be part of the game so we're just going to have to deal with it and we'll go ahead and take a look at the forces. Here we have the British force, is commanded by Captain Harry Elsden. He is a level 3 commander in charge of three groups of redcoats. They have thin red line and sharp practice. He is assisted by Sergeant John Baldwin. He's a level 1 leader, just here to help keep the men in line. Commander number 3 will be Captain Jens Kopke of the Hessian Grenadiers. Or, yeah, Hessian Grenadiers. So he's two groups of Hessian Grenadiers. I think all they have is aggressive, they don't even have a sharp practice. He is assisted by Hessian Sergeant Luke Lankowski. We also have a group of Hessian Jaegers under the command of Lieutenant Nils Vesterman. So these guys are uh, light infantry. Um, they only have rifles though. They don't have um, tomahawks or aggressive or anything like that. And then also we have Tatanka, a level 1 leader, leading a band of regular skirmishers. Uh, so they have the um, plus one only at long range, but they do have tomahawks aggressive. Uh, they have all those bells and whistles However, they do have prominent leader as well, which in the past has become an issue for us sometimes. So uh, That is the British force On this side we have the Continental Force is commanded by Captain Stephen Russell a level 3 commander in charge of three groups of Continental Line So they have sharp practice He is assisted by Sergeant Greg Gregory Padilla He's a level one leader, just to help keep the man in line on this side. We also have number three leader, Captain Solomon Montrose, in charge of two groups of militia in line, and assisted by Sergeant Andrew Cox, level one leader. So these guys are typical militia. They don't have bayonets. Uh, there's nothing special about them. They do have first fire, um, control volley on first fire and first fire. We also have a group of Indians on this side now. And this is Spinning Bird. He is actually Commander Number Six, Level One Leader. Same, same as the other Indians. And of course, we have the legendary Robert Wadsworth and his Rangers. And he is a Level Two Leader. So that will help make up some of the point difference between the militia and the Grenadiers by having a Level Two Leader uh, skirmish leader on this side. And that's it. Those are the forces. That's the mission. Let's begin. So Andre has arrived. He's been briefed on the mission. He's going to be the British. I'm going to be the Americans. We both have a force morale of 10. I place my primary deployment point there. 
Andres is the cow over there. We both bought an exploring officer, a musician, and a holy man. And the exploring officer lets you bring a jump off point. So I put mine there. I got to roll first, so I was able to get closer. Andre had to stay out of uh, range of mine. He put his secondary there in the wheat field, and we're ready to go. And red flag. Okay, you're red this time. I got to keep that <laughs> mine here. The good guys. We just played not that long ago, and I was red, so. Ooh, blue four. Blue four. That's Sergeant Cox, so he can't do anything. Rally the Red men. two, that's going to be my Sergeant, Sergeant Baldwin. Yep. Red flag. Red, ooh. Ooh, red one, that's Elston. So, that's, so I roll for... Uh, yep, so you got to roll. So we're, we're going to either roll when the card comes out or at the end of the turn we're going to roll automatically. So they need a 14 to start coming in, so 2d6. Oh man, a 6 already? I'm like, 14? I can't get that with 2d6. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay. The British are going to be on next, next turn. turn. <laughs> I'm going to be in trouble. Well, actually third turn. That's true. Third and turn. you got a blue flag. Blue flag, okay. And a blue flag. Okay, it's two in a row. And... Tiffin. Tiffin. So no one can do anything. I will roll. So we're going to have to roll for all the guys who didn't come in yet. So I will roll for Russell. A six. Not bad. Montrose is a six. So both my guys are further along down the road than you. So roll for uh, Kopke. He's got a six. So Elston might be here, or will be here, a hell of a lot sooner than everyone else. <laughs> Alright, next, uh, first card, turn two. Blue five. And those chips are getting beat to hell. <laughs> I can't even read them anymore. All right. Does that blue five oh. mean anything to you? Yes, it does. It's Corporal, or I mean Captain Wadsworth. Wadsworth has come in right by the treasure. Blue flag. Remember, it takes four guys to move one of those barrels, so if I start moving them, <laughs> I could start moving them, maybe. You could move one of them. At least I can get it out of there so someone else can grab it. Tiffin. Tiffin. Okay, well, let's roll. <laughs> Rolling. Okay, so I'll just start out here for Russell. Another six. Okay, Montrose. Ten. That's, he's on, huh? Montrose will be coming in. Russell, not so much. Elston obviously will, because you can't. All you need is a two. So Snake eyes. Four. Ooh, four. Ten. So he's got one more. All right, go for it, Andre. Going for so it. So Elston can come in this turn if his card comes up. There's your uh, Sergeant Cox Sergeant. again. He's just encouraging the men. There's Wadsworth. Wadsworth. I'm going to go into the forest and look for this uh, hoard of gold. Wadsworth has made it to the gold and preparing to move. Come on, four flags. Oh, Tiffin. <laughs> Man, so let's roll again. It's kind of a weird game. I wasn't expecting uh, Wadsworth to be the only guy on the board. So actually, I can't possibly fail. So go I ahead can. and roll for I can talking. fail. Yeah, you made it. So everyone's gonna be, everyone's gonna be coming in on all at once. No wow. one's gonna get a head start because of the early tiffins. They still gotta come in. Blue six. That's spinning bird. Spinning bird is deployed up here to give Wadsworth a hand with the barrels. And tiffin. No. I'll be off the board of three barrels before <laughs> any British even show up. Sergeant to oh sergeant. Yep. Yeah. Cox's uh, card has come out more than anyone. Ooh, two flags in a row. Oh boy. And three, three flags. flags. So the last person to move was. But did they move? Wadsworth. Yeah. Or yeah. He moved over the fence. The so Wadsworth is going to roll on the random event table. Seven. Sergeant, tell the men to sing. 
They're in any column formation, they may move 2d6. That's an no. interesting column you got there. And if my voice sounds muffled, it's because we're wearing face masks. We are safe. Yeah, so we're you practicing. Hear any difference? That's... This is called safe gaming. Uh oh. That is Luke Lankowski, the Hessian sergeant. Alrighty then. Yeah, so you got two sergeants, so the same as I. Oh, my sergeant. Yeah, uh, grenadier sergeant. I got all Sorry. excited. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was your. Uh, game I thought I actually got to bring something on. Ooh, actually, I could bring, could bring something, something on. on now. Andres used the three flags to bring Olsen in. We did have the exploring officer, so he can deploy nine instead of six. And now you're I up to three. three. Well, I could always activate Wadsworth after. Um, but if I don't, I can't if I burn all three flags. So keep pulling. Okay. I was pretty sure you were going to bring somebody, but I could see the logic there. Or. Oh, man. You could try and deploy him twice. Or you could save a flag for him. Uh, lots of choices here. Yeah. All right, so I decided to burn the four flags to activate Wadsworth, grabbed a barrel, got it backed in right over the fence. And if I can get his card again... Or the Tiffin! Uh, ooh. Tatanka. Tatanka. Tatanka has sprung up in the woods from the pig jump-off point there. He's been hiding in here the whole time, apparently. Well, yeah. Uh, he's within 12. You can see 12 if you're both in the woods. So seven shots. He does not get the plus one for light infantry because he's not long range. So six hits. Six hits. So hard cover. Oh, oh no, two dead. Oh, oh no, it's him. He's knocked out. Oh man. Oh no, Wadsworth's down. Don't mess with Tatanka. And another guy's dead. And a shock. Oh man, that means I can't activate the unit again. Oh wow. That because was I was going to use his card to come out of there. Because I already burned the four. So he was going to hop and start moving. But... Well, you could just uh, activate him on a flag. Oh, yeah. you burned them all! <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. You can still activate Ooh. next turn. Easy there. They're excited. That's what, your, hey, that's uh... Wadsworth. <laughs> 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 Uh, that's, hey, it's Montrose. Finally, some line units coming in. Montrose has come in here, nine from here, because I bought the exploring officer as well. And we just got immediate, immediately into line. I didn't play off this, because I didn't mention it at the beginning, but the intention is that the troops are arriving from the road, so that's why he's not deploying off of there, because if he did, as we were just talking about off camera, I could give to talk about <laughs> A 20 shot or a 22 shot first fire controlled volley. They didn't have 22s. <laughs> Come on. Red flag. Ooh. All right. Come on. Red. Uh, no. Tiffin. Blue. Blue one. Tiffin. Blue one. Red five. Hey, that's Nils. So that's your Jaegers. Your my Jaegers. Light infantry. Nice. While Andre's deploying Vesterman, I'm gonna do some rolling here. So I gotta roll a bad thing for. Um, Wadsworth getting wounded. One status level two leader wounded. No effect on a one. And I also need to roll to see if he gets back up because his card came out. No, he does not. Okay. Esterman is deployed. He's gonna fire his rifles back into the Rangers. Even trees. I didn't get as many. Nope. What's that? Four hits. Come on, trees! Point of shot. Just a point of shot. Couldn't lose any more rangers there. That Next card. Bag's getting thin. Yeah, it's the first time we've gone a long way into a turn. Going deep. That is, uh, Jens, that's your grenadiers. Captain Kotke and Sergeant Lankowski have arrived. In column on the road. Tiffin! Ready to march up to the... Oh, yeah! Tiffin! What do you want Tiffin for? Oh, because I can't get my main man in still. Perfect. Yep. Alright, here we go. Yeah, my enthusiasm about that uh, Tiffin was a little premature. I thought I could still activate my main man. Yeah, but we are pretty sure that was the same thing. <laughs> Couldn't figure out what else I could have done with three uh, 
flags. Speaking of three flags. Oh no. Actually, I think you were the. Oh, it is oh, three. It is. So, who was the last one to move? I think the last one to do something was. I think it was the Vesterman. fire order there. Let's see what happens to Vesterman. Three. That's unusual. Fouled barrels. Oh. The unit suffers minus one to hit until their weapons can be cleaned with water. Well, there is a well over here, Andre. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> We're on our way. So, man, poor Vesterman now is going to be minus one, so he's going to lose his bonus. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, that is crap. Okay. And, of course, you get another <laughs> flag, so I don't even get the flag bonus. <laughs> Come on, flag bonus. Oh. Hey, it's Cox again. That guy's card comes out every single turn. Well, yeah, he's uh, he's into it. <laughs> he is on the board. Well, that's something. Oh, hey, it's Padilla, my other sergeant. <laughs> Come on, get the blue one. Actually, uh, no. Let let's go for a tip in here. <laughs> Three flags. I'm thinking about activating, uh, bringing in my commander, just because. I can't wait around for him to come in <laughs> another turn. All right, burn my three flags. Russell came in in column, preparing to march to that direction. When he came in, he ordered Wadsworth to move up. He also ordered Spinning Bird. He was within 18, so I got the musician, level two, level three leader. And Spinning Bird was moved back four inches. We're just saying when they're carrying the gold, they can't do the uh, free move. Red five. Vesterman. Vesterman used his free move, moved over this way, finished reloading his rifle. He's going to fire at Spinning Bird, but he, still, he needs sixes now because of the fouled barrels. Ooh. Nothing. He would have had two without the fouled barrels. Nothing. Don't foul my barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I need my barrels clean. Six. Tatanka. Tatanka. Oh. Tonka has advanced up to the treasure. He's going to fire at the rangers. Needing fours. Only oh, six man. hits. Oh man, the rangers. The Tonka. Come on, rangers. Oh man, two more down and two more shot. <laughs> Do I have to roll to see if it's the leader again? Yeah. Oh. He loses a command. Another bad thing. That's probably nothing. Nothing. But we do lose another guy, two more shock, and then he's down a command. Oh man, they're getting beat to hell. But we got a barrel well, out of there. You should be down two more dudes. Why? Because <laughs> I hit him twice. Oh, that's true. See, even in uh, being wounded on the ground, he's doing his part. <laughs> a true leader. That's why he's Wadsworth. You've heard of leading from the rear? <laughs> he leads from the ground. Tiffin. Tiffin. All right, now you can move your troops. Man, that was a horrible, uh, not I, horrible. I got three things activated. Off well, of I was looking flags. at that pile. I'm like, oh man, I burned all my uh, flags. But well, Vesterman was able to move up and call him on the road. And Elsden moved his men up into the wheat field over there. Oh. Red, oh, that's Elsden. Oh, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> Elston has advanced up in the wheat field eight inches. Trying to get up here to get a volley off on the uh, Indians. Yeah, or whoever that idiot in the uh, woods is there. Idiot. Why is he still there? Tonka? No. <laughs> <laughs> the other idiot. Two. Hey, that's uh, Padilla. So, yeah, my sergeant again comes out. Go, sergeant. Hey, the other sergeant. Hey, sergeant. Come on, give me a freaking blue one, man. What's the point of putting the braille dots on the bottom There's if I don't blue, use them? Blue flag. All right, I'm saving that for uh, Wadsworth. <laughs> <if anyone left. laughs> Wadsworth wants it. Red flag. Two flags. And... Hey, blue one. Thank you, Andre. Man. All right. So Russell ordered Spinning Bird to move back. He got a seven. He ordered his men to move up an open column down the road. And then he ordered uh, Cox's group to break off uh, and move up towards Tatanka. Next card. Oh, card. That's these things. Yep. <laughs> Chip, card, dice, whatever. Blue flag. 
Tiffin. Red flag. Uh oh. Blue flag. Oh, three flags in a row. Damn. Hmm. So the last one to move was Russell. Here we go. Random event for Captain Russell. Five. Spitting feathers. Minus one pip per dice. Oh no, until they <laughs> quench their thirst. Good thing you're next to the well. We are right next to it. <laughs> and even that seems like an insurmountable distance. <laughs> so I'm minus one to move. Vesterman's minus one to shoot. Oh. And tiffin. the Tiffin. Okay, excellent. Alright, so I had, uh, well first, Tatanka reloaded. He moved up, still hidden. One inch. Not as far as he wanted. Trying to take a shot, but uh, couldn't couldn't get up far enough. Then I activated uh, just these guys. I think that was it. Oh no, uh, Wadsworth and his boys. The Rangers jumped out, got back there, turned back around, and with the, my last one, I had Montrose's group pop the fence. So I'm splitting these two up. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but it's uh, uh, we got something worth trying. The rain, uh, the Jaegers over here threatening the flank, so I can't just let that go. I was kind of curious how you were going to deal with that. Normally I always put skirmishers on my flanks I... no matter what, but this <laughs> mission is a little bit different in this mission. I understand. So that's Padilla, of course. I think I turned the camera off, but he pulled Elsden's card, and Elsden has run, not run, got a good move down, and he snapped into line this way. So hopefully I can activate my guys. <laughs> No. Uh, that's your sergeant, Baldwin. Just uh, encouraging the boys. A blue three. Montrose. I moved up uh, one whole inch. I wanted to get into the wheat field. <laughs> but my movement roll was only one, so I'm going to do a first fire into Vesterman here. Uh, needing fives. Two hits. So we're only sixes. Oh, you got one. Um, yeah, no, you don't, you don't, don't have, have to roll. To... No, it's not a, not a skirmish unit. All right. But we did kill one. So we moved hey. up and fired. So we're unloaded. Blue flag. Give me that uh, smoke there. I'll just throw this there so before I forget. Okay. Things you don't hear in everyday conversation. But hand me the smoke. <laughs> Hand me the smoke cloud. <laughs> Hand me that cloud of smoke. Uh, right where you hang out, I guess. Blue five. Wadsworth. We're going to see if we can get up. Come on, Captain Wadsworth. 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 I'm actually surprised. Why? It, it's Wadsworth. Three. What is that? Uh, that's Kopke. So Kopke has snapped in. And then he's wheeled. 1v6. And he's presented. Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> I still got my one out there. There this, it is. This one? That's that what you're wanting? That's, that'd be perfect. All right, so Russell moved his guys uh, on the one inch. Then he had, to, he had them just flip around. Um, and then he moved, uh, Spinning Bird moved back with the gold. And he also uh, moved um, Cox back just to get out of the arc of that <laughs> thing. Behemoth over there. Actually, yeah. oh, you already activated this turn. Oh, well, hold on a minute here. I might want to rethink that. If I change my mind, um, knowing that Elston's already activated, I took a risk and I made it over the fence. And it's a good thing because that's a hell of a. I would have had to get his dice early next turn. Slaughter you'd have taken. And a blue flag. That's a big slob though I would have taken. <laughs> and a blue flag. That's three. Three flags. Uh, I think everyone's activated this turn pretty much. So, uh, hey, Cox's card doesn't come out yet. What's going on there? You'll that was him though. <laughs> that was him. So he's already activated. So next card. I don't have anything left to activate. Bosworth's down. He can't do anything. It's Tatanka. Tatanka. So Tatanka has just moved a barrel, set it on the other side of the fence. Barrel gold going towards the British side. Tiffin. Oh. 
Ah, so I think you I... got your three. Oh, you are already. Oh, the only one I haven't activated is these guys, so they could actually move now. And do you have anything left? Uh, I've got. Uh... Oh, Vesterman, yes. Okay, so I guess I'll just do my thing first since I have more flags. Vesterman and the Jaegers have tap reloaded, and they're gonna fire at Cox's group. Whoa! Woohoo! Force. <laughs> Soft cover. Hey, there you go. You got some sixes. Hey, at least it's not the leader. All right, new turn here. here Travis thinks it's his turn to get some luck here. Here we go. He's lucky I didn't roll or pull a red one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey it's, there's, there's it's there's it's Padilla. Just chilling. That is uh, Tatanka. T oh, Tatanka. Tatanka's moved up. He's grabbing the second barrel of gold. Right. Actually, it's the third, but uh, second for who's you. counting? Ooh! Ooh. Olsen has just had his men just wheel back to face this direction. Next card. He's waiting to activate uh, the Hessians to move the barrels. Shoot, that's uh, that's your sergeant Baldwin. Just chilling. Blue flag. Tiffin. Tiffin. Oh, horrible Tiffin. Um, horrible. Roll the horrible. move activates first. Uh, well, okay. Unless you want to go first. <laughs> hey, I got it. What's that going to do here? What do I want to do? All right, he's going to tap reload. Fire this time at Montrose. Needing sixes still. Okay, man, last time he needed sixes, he rolled four of them. Uh, we just evened it out. And. Unloaded. Again. Do we want to move, I guess is the question. Oh, you do get a free move. But you won't have a move to turn back around, so if you don't move forward, you're going to be facing the wrong way. I want some cocks. I need cocks. Well, give me some cocks. Nope, that, that's the next best thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a next Russell. Next best thing to some cocks. So Russell has broke his formation up again, so I got three individual groups running around here. He also had Spinning Bird move back, then he moved himself three inches that way and faced back this way, so he's gonna hold the line. Next card. All right. We're going to stand up to all these troops. Blue four. Blue four. That's Cox. Yes. It's all coming together, Andre. Yeah, except you got your Cox in the wrong order. <laughs> all right, we've moved an inch again. And then we're going to fire into Tatanka, needing three. First fire. Uh, so I missed three of them. So six hits, hardcover, Tatanka. <sighs> Come on. Tatanka. Nothing but a shock. A shock. Man. All right, next card, Andre. Oh, not dice. Cards. Keep the blue rolling. No. Ooh. Oh, boy. That's the big man, Olsden. So he wheeled around. We are now face to face. He also ordered Tatanka to move the barrel over. And then he had Kopke move up and grab both barrels. So eight guys, uh, four per barrel, so that whole group can move. Both barrels. Six. Hey, that's my Indian. He hey. can actually activate by himself for once. Amazing. So Spinning Bird is off with the barrel, rolling it down the road to headquarters, hopefully, not back to the teepees. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, there's no one around. What Let's do you mean it's not barrel. wrong? <laughs> uh, who's that? Uh, Montrose. Perfect. I moved up my uh, customary inch. <laughs> it's gonna be the fifth time I rolled a one to move in this game. And we're gonna unload into these guys. So needing fours, it's gonna be 12 shots. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six hits. Six hits into Vesterman. Vesterman will say, ouch. I'll take a dead. So another dead. Jaeger, no shock though. So you're down two Jaegers. Yep. And a foul barrel. Oh, and I'm unloaded. So, next card. Blue flag. Man, now we're talking, Andre. 
All blue. Nope. Red, red flag. flag. Another flag. I'm about to get a foul barrel. Foul your barrel? No. <laughs> red four. Uh, that's Langkowski. That's. That, yep, that's those guys. So they're broken off. He can do something now. Uh, Langkowski has moved up here towards the woods. Careful not to expose his flank to Russell. Mostly he's uh, just feeling like a duck in a shooting gallery, but. Red five, that's Nils. Oh boy. Uh, and tap reload and fire again. But needing three hits. Fours. Okay, soft cover. God, no sixes. No sixes. <laughs> okay, uh, I lost two more guys. And then, uh, uh, I can't. No shock though. Uh, huh? So you're unloaded again. Uh, I guess I'm staying there. Okay. They were activated, so. Blue two. Blue two, that's Padilla. He's now actually broken off so he can do something. He just moved up here, Padilla. I guess he should go with them. <laughs> Red flag. Okay, so you're at two. I'm at one. There's your five. five. Wadsworth. All right, dice gods. Oh, yeah. We can do it this time, Wadsworth. <laughs> All right, next card on, or Wadsworth still laying there. Uh, that's your Sergeant Baldwin. He's just chilling. Another flag of mine. Blue flag. Do I have anything that hasn't? Blue flag. Three flags. That's three in a row. No, three for you. All right, let me see what I have here. All I can do is wait for another flag. And it's a red six. That's Tatanka. Tatanka. Tatanka has just removed his shock. Red flag. Three flags. Oh no. One, two. If you get the red flag, then Russell's completely screwed. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, you know, threes. Do a volley. Present fire. Yeah. Sixes. First shot, first yeah. fire. Yeah. So we're fours, right? No, I mean fives. Sixes. You're over 12, right? You're in oh, long range. Oh man, this is long range? Yeah. Okay. So it'll be fours. So fours. So you get plus two. All right, so nine, nine at a time. I'll keep track. On All this right. side. Oh okay. my. Three. Needing fours? Yep. Three hits. Okay, three on the first one. Middle section. Fire. They did a little better. Five. Okay, you're up to eight. And right flank, fire! Uh, three more. That was pretty skating. Twelve hits. Pretty skating. That's six, six each. All right, so the guys on the, uh, with the leader, Russell. So a dead and a shock. Not bad. No one sh Yeah. In the open one shock. I know. I got lucky. You're too lucky. Well, I took a bunch of shock here. Four shock. Actually, I weathered that pretty well. That, uh, that is a true thing. All right. And me, next so card. That makes me unloaded. We're still going. Oh, man. What's left? The tiffin in my flag? No. There's one other. Yeah. There's your flag. Oh, sweet. All right, we gotta and do something important. A three? Uh, my three is... No, it's my three. Oh, your three. Uh, that's Kopke. But he's already activated. He already activated. Yeah, so okay, so I'll do something with my four flags. I'm gonna have Russell's men present and fire. I know I probably should do something else, but this might be my only chance to actually get a volley in. I'm not gonna be able to stand toe to toe against three, but who knows? Maybe Russell will be heroic and kick some ass here, so I get 17 shots. Uh, you gotta split them though, right? Because huh? these guys are in your arc also. Are they? Oh. I activated Padilla. He got a pathetic move. What a waste. And That's the story of my life in this game. Uh, yeah, next turn. And we've got... Blue flag, flag. blue flag. Blue one. Oh. Now I can do my volley. 
Of course, I'm still in the same position where I'm going to be hitting both of those guys. Actually, that might not be horrible at this point. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, let's pull off two shock, and we'll just do the same thing I was going to do last time. So present and fire, but we'll be hitting uh, Lankowski and Elsden's men. 17 shots, so fours. One, two, three, four. That's ten. I said four. Five, six, seven. Seven hits. Let's so start over here with Lankowski's Grenadiers. Point of shock. Okay. These guys. Point, point of shock. shock. Those guys. The dead. dead. Nothing. Man, another ineffective all. Yours wasn't that great. Mine was not that great either. So one guy killed and just uh, two points of shock. All right, next card. Man, that sucked. Let's hope we do some more shock on Lankowski. Red four. Uh, red four. Nice. That's Lankowski. Lankowski has entered the woods. That is one shock. Red flag, blue something or other. Six. Blue six. Oh, spinning bird. So he's not even in the game anymore. <laughs> it would be nice to have him back. This so one, I'm kind of him, wishing one. why. I'm kind of wondering why I even grabbed the gold anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the the objective. That's right. Uh, okay, so that's your sergeant. Pull a shock. Yeah, you can do something. Hey, he did something. He finally did something. Blue flag. Uh, hold on. Might want to activate a unit. Um, I'm going to activate just the group, not Montrose. I'm only going to get eight shots, sadly. But I have to, I got to pour some fire into these guys here while I can. Probably take another volley. Yep. One, two, three, four, five hits. Ouch. Nice rolling. Hard cover, though. Oh, nothing. Wow. So right back where we started again. Unloaded and facing each other, but I burned two flags. Uh, who is that? Uh, Cox. Cox. So they're more than four. Yep. So are they. So he's going to reload. Cox is reloaded. He got a pretty good move up that direction. It wasn't a one. It was not. Thank God. Man, that two flag just... I was hoping to at least get a kill or a shock or something. Literally did nothing. Uh, I... That's him. Besterman has did a tactical withdrawal. He's heading back this way. Presumably to uh, help. Uh, what's his face? So that's uh, oh Montrose. <laughs> he already well he could activate, but the guys already went, so there's not really a whole lot he could do over here. Pull shock. He'll pull a shock. I need. Well, I already burned two, so I can't get four. That's and two flags I'm in a row. Up to three. Two flags in a row. And a blue five. Blue five. Hey, Wadsworth. Hey. I think if Wake you try up, five. Sir. Wake up. I think on the fifth try it should be automatic. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is only the fourth. Yes. Wadsworth. 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 So he's going to get up, knock the dust off. With his one command. <laughs> and I wish he was a level two leader still. I lost a level somehow when I was out. Blue flat. Ooh, two flags again. Mm -hmm. What do you got left? I'm gonna charge. I gotta do something drastic here. It's slipping away from me. I'm gonna try to make it over to Elston's guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm hitting the uh, Elston's boys. I'm gonna get seven. Andre's only going to get eight, eight. due to uh, <laughs> all, the, all the stuff going on here. Mostly because I'm unloaded. Fives and sixes. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got four. So that's it. Uh, I was defeated. I'm calling it. It's over. There's no way I can uh, possibly stop Andre from getting those two off the board. These guys will just block the, these guys. Tatanka will take care of them. Yeah, so that's it. So we'll come back and wrap it up. So that's the game. Uh, the British are going to get off the board with two gold. I got one. So Andre wins. 
uh, yeah, it was tough. Um, it was tough for me. Just my dice were just killing me. It. Uh, we haven't had a one-sided game dice-wise like that in a little while, but man. Yeah, it was. It was harsh. I, it's I was one of those games. Thinking when uh, Tatanka came in and started kicking butt. That. Uh, That's where it all started. Was losing uh, or getting uh, Wadsworth. Yeah. Knocked out immediately, and then uh, he got hit twice, and I lost two Rangers. So I mean, they just took a pounding, even in hardcover. I thought, okay, man, I'm in Rangers hardcover. Good luck getting me out of here. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, here comes the sixes. Yeah. So I lost. Uh, I lost a lot of guys, and I never did get to bring in my holy man again. I was going to bring him in here, but I think he can only come in when. Uh, the, the overall commander activates. So I was waiting to get, now that he finally got up. So I was without two units the whole game. Yeah. The Indians and the well, Rangers. Well, all of your skirmishers. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> my favorite unit in, in share practice, the skirmishers, uh, yeah, I, I, both of them were completely, were, you know, what I should have done is just give the damn, I don't, what am I thinking? Why didn't I give the barrel to these idiots and have them go off <laughs> and leave this, the Indians over here? That would have been... Uh, then at least I could have done some fighting. That would have been a better <laughs> idea, yeah. But as it stood, it's like, okay, all my skirmishers are indisposed. And I got militia. Yeah. And then the line over here, they were getting into position, but they weren't going to last against the three line. Um, they did okay. No, they... They would have had to do a lot better on their first volley to have a chance. But Well, and as, as I recall... It takes several, uh, you know, it's three or four or five volleys before these lines really start breaking down. Well, it depends on how big the, vo the volleys are. The, how big and... Three uh, against two is going to whittle them down a lot faster. You yeah. had a bad roll, though. You only killed one guy and did, like, we well, did some shock, but it wasn't nearly enough. Yeah, well, we really didn't see very much shock in this game at all. No, I was rolling sixes. Yeah. <laughs> I kept rolling sixes. Like, I mean, Wadsworth is the only shock. one that picked up any significant shock yeah, he got, the whole game. Yeah, man, he's got four shock, two dead, and he got hit twice. And he's down a level. Yeah, and that was one of the hits. Wow, yeah, so, I mean, they got hammered, but they were about to come back, but there was just no way. I hadn't, There was no way uh, I could have done. My whole plan pretty much hinged on uh, Wadsworth holding the the woods. <laughs> yeah. I thought I got rangers in here. Rangers in Bring the woods, how, how hard could it be? And I'm, with I, with him in there, I knew I could maneuver, but it's like once he got killed, or once he got out of there, that was it. I thought I was going to have to bring my line down, and I thought that was, you know, my only shot at uh, routing you out of the woods. Yeah, then I would have had a unit over here ready to, you couldn't have done that. Which, yeah, well... The uh, second unit coming up the road, which I kind of wanted to put over here to uh, try and take you yeah. down as you were, you know. I think I grabbed the gold too fast. Uh, I don't know that, well. Well, I lost a unit. I think to revise the rules for this one, I think maybe instead of them leaving, you take it back to your deployment point and then you can come back. Because when you're already down, Losing a whole unit just to take a thing of gold off is like, yeah. why would you even want to take the gold off? Well, that's the problem with doing <laughs> it with the skirmishers, because they don't have eight guys, they can't grab two barrels. Right. Well, I did not expect to, I, I figured I would have, I would win with just one barrel. Ah. Uh, I thought I'll get the only barrel off, and then I'll just hold, I was or I'll actually keep him from I was him. actually concerned about that. That was kind of my strategy, was I got the rangers, and I have... Uh, Everyone else is going to be up here. I should be able to hold, at least keep you from getting the last two barrels. Yeah, well. And then all I had to do was not get massacred. Don't underestimate Tatanka. I don't. <laughs> he outplayed, yeah, because we were talking earlier. Tatanka is kind of, he's got a pretty good uh, legend going himself. Wadsworth didn't do too well this game. But he Not was, his finest hour, but Tatanka's was. He's had some awesome games, but uh, yeah, Tatanka, that was... One of his... Tatanka upstaged Wadsworth today. Yeah. I mean, that 
I'm sure lands in the top three games for Tatanka. I don't know that it was his absolute best, but it was close. Yeah, he was. Uh, he did really good. Got both barrels off, wiped out the Rangers. Well, rooted the Rangers out of cover. Yep. Once I lost, yeah. On once I lost the objective. The <laughs> as soon yeah. as I saw Tatanka alone in there, I knew I, that was it. Because I thought, okay, well, what are my chances of getting lucky and just firing a volley that obliterates Tatanka? Yeah. yeah. Like it like happened to these guys, but that was just complete fluke. That should have never happened. Well, I got one hell of a roll for the hits, and you managed to pull off a couple of sixes. Oh, man. I've been, I roll a lot of sixes for uh, kills today. Every time, too. Like two here, yeah. two here. Well, only one there, but two there a couple times. <laughs> Yeah, because I rolled two sixes twice on these guys. So you're saying you take two hits before you take two hits, and then you take two more? That's right. <laughs> okay, we know how Travis rolls. Oh, yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, it was a, I actually think the, I mean, I just came up with this scenario maybe four or five hours, or I mean, a couple hours before you got here. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it worked okay. I don't think there's, the only change I probably would make would be to, just to take a barrel back to your jump off your main primary deployment point and then return to the battle. Or throw with, in one more uh, unit of skirmishers. Because uh, I could also see the uh, main line troops not showing up. Mm, they came in a lot faster than they should have. Yeah, maybe we should up that number. Well, no, I mean, how often do we see the Tiffin come out in the yeah. first four or five chips three turns in a row. That's true. Because you actually had a chance to bring your guys on and before me. They all wound up kind of coming in all at the same time. Yeah. No one really had an advantage. Even when he rolled that double six, uh, that should have been, yeah. And then after that, it was just Tiffin, Tiffin, Tiffin with no red one. Anyway, so yeah, it was a good game. I mean, just bad, bad luck really. Um, but the design itself, I think, is pretty solid and I could see this becoming part of a uh, campaign at some point. Well, and part of, uh, you know, some, something that doesn't happen a lot in uh, especially the sharp practice games is we actually had fairly well-defined battle lines that pretty much stayed static through the whole game. Realistically, I mean, you know, I had this fence I had, uh, you know, through here, you were up to there, and that was really the, the, the battle line through the whole thing. Yeah. Usually there's a lot more push up, push back, flanking maneuvers or attempts at flanking, um, which that's what these guys were thinking initially. Well, that's, yeah, I know that. <laughs> that's why I had to break them up. Which my cardinal rule, always have skirmishers on your edge, on the ends. But, bre but breaking those guys actually, I think, was pretty effective. I had I had no choice. Yeah. If not, these guys were to just spend rampaging around back here. Well, if even if you tried to take you know the whole unit, if you had them in line, they're just going to outdance oh, yeah. you, yep. and you're not going to get a shot at them. Which yeah, you could have easily got around the end of a line of uh, a formation of skirmishers or a militia easily. Yeah, and you really. Yeah, you couldn't ignore them even with the foul barrels. No, no. Definitely not. Yeah, I mean, just, just what they need, the militia is getting shot in the uh, rear end by Jaegers, you know, doubling shocks, especially the way you were rolling. Of course, yeah. I would have just rolled all sixes, so it probably wouldn't have taken any shot. <laughs> Didn't matter whether I had two hits or four hits, you were still going to have two dead. Yep. Anyway, so that's it. So the British win. Um, and thanks for watching this one, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, online Paint All the Minis online convention and uh, checking out all the stuff that's going on. I know there's a lot of um, vendors and companies here, like the Lardies themselves are going to be here as well. So if you haven't checked out their page or their booth yet, you should probably go do that. Uh, I think uh, Rich was going to talk about game design, I think, or something. So that could be an interesting thing to listen to. Since that's something that Andre and I are interested in doing ourselves, is uh, writing a rule set. So listening to someone like Rich talk about how he does it would be very beneficial, I think. He's uh, got some experience there. Yeah, so we'll probably, I'll probably definitely watch that. And other than that, uh, we're going to Are gonna you going to watch us uh, playing live? 
yeah, we're going to do a live stream as well. Uh, we're going to play a game of Chain of Command, a uh, live stream. Uh, what day is good for you? How about we do Saturday? I believe I'm good. open uh, okay. to whatever. So The time, we'll have to nail down the exact timing because this is all happening in GMT. So I think well, uh, we usually, right. when we play, when we do live streaming on the Patreon, we start at 11 and it's like 7 at night. 7 or 8. No, 7. Because they're 7 hours ahead. So it would be... It's at six o'clock at night. Right. We start at eleven, which isn't bad. Yeah, or people right. just sit down, you know, eat dinner or whatever, and, and it's not, you know, it's perfect time for people in the United States as well. So, anyway, so yeah, Saturday we'll shoot for Saturday at nineteen, no, eighteen hundred hours GMT uh, con time. That's our plan for now. Um, so yeah, chain of command. I hope to see you guys there for that. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.